Denton has been dry for 74 years, but that could change tomorrow. Both wets and dries are well organized and have spent a lot of money plastering the town with posters and bumper stickers. Politically, the issue is too hot to handle. Not one candidate running for public office has come out either for or against the sale of booze. And last week, when the local newspaper ran an editorial slightly favoring the wets, the paper was flooded with calls from the dries. The leader of the dries is Dr. L. L. Armstrong, pastor of the First Baptist Church. He says it's not strictly a moral question, but an economic one as well. Although the city will collect 1% sales tax on all beer and wine that's sold, uh, research shows that for every dollar the city collects, it will cost $4 in measurable costs, like additional law enforcement. I'm afraid what this gentleman claims and uh, the valid facts are a couple different things. Um, we've got studies all over the nation, all over the state of Texas that show that it's just not that way. Uh, being wet brings in a lot more revenue and a lot more than it's ever going to cost. The outcome of the election may be determined by the students here at North Texas State University. There are 6,000 registered voters on campus, and the wets say if half of them turn out, it'll pass. In many ways, the election is a sham. If the wets win, local stores will be able to sell only wine and beer. But even though the town is dry now, there are 22 private clubs you can join for a small amount of money, and they sell liquor by the drink. Jim Hips, Channel 8 News. Denton.